Hi everyone and welcome to MPW's guide to preparing for a lecture at university. I'm Gareth Davies and I'm a director of studies at MPW. Now the first point to note on this is the nomenclature used. Lecture seminars and tutorials can all mean something different, but sometimes these terms are used to describe the same thing at different universities. Generally a lecture will be in a theatre with up to maybe 300 students in it. You'll often find other degree course students to yours in there too, because different degrees often have common course units in them. A lecturer will often speak for an hour or so and will probably use PowerPoints. There may not be an opportunity to ask questions in a lecture. Some universities may only have tutorials in addition to these. These will be much smaller, maybe up to 10 students, and this is where you discuss and dissect problems and find solutions in a much smaller group. There will be plenty of time for questions and discussions here. If your course at your university has seminars, these are likely to be somewhere between a lecture and a tutorial with maybe up to 30 students in there. As I mentioned before, these may not exist on your course or what one university calls a tutorial, another may call a seminar. Some may have all three. So what do you need to recognise and understand when preparing? Firstly, your lecturers aren't really teachers. They may be good at teaching the content, but lecturing to you and your peers is only a small part of their role at the university. His or her research will often dominate their time spent at work, not lecturing. This means your approach should probably be different to that at MPW. They are not teaching you to an exam, they are imparting some of their knowledge to you and will often depart from what you consider to be the main track of the lecture. Everything is useful and helpful, even if it isn't going to appear in an exam. It's a mindset shift that you must adjust to as quickly as you can. Firstly, make sure you turn up on time. It is really important, obviously. Secondly, make sure you come prepared with all the necessary materials that you might need. This is also important, obviously. To be honest, no one's going to tell you off if you don't come with a pen and paper, but you're an adult, so take some responsibility and be prepared. Thirdly, do some background reading beforehand. The lecture schedule will be published at the beginning of the course, along with associated reading. Just like a scheme of work at MPW, having a good idea of the areas you understand and areas you don't before the lecture is important in being able to get the most out of it, because it means you can zero in on certain parts, knowing that you need to give these more time than perhaps other areas. Some lecturers may have already published the presentations or lecture notes on the relevant department areas on the university intranet in advance. So in addition to textbook reading, you can really have a good idea as to what's to come before the lecture even starts which puts you in a powerful position to get the most out of them. Next, do not ask the lecturer if something he or she has just covered will be in the exam. This sounds like you just want to learn the absolute minimum to be able to pass an exam at the end of the year, and it doesn't make a good impression. Take active notes during the lecture. Don't try to write everything down that they say because you won't be able to do it. Note down key points, but also make a note of anything you're unsure of so that you can ask later or check for yourself after the lecture. Write up your notes after the lecture whilst it's still fresh in your memory. Use handouts, if there are any, along with a recommended textbook or textbooks and lecture notes and PowerPoints if they're available on the department's area of the university intranet. Use tutorials to ask questions or even see the lecture after the lecture or book a time to see them later on. Lecturers are experts in their field and they like talking about their subject they'll be pleased to help. Remember, a good number of textbooks you will use will have been written by lecturers and possibly even your own lecturers. Take advantage of that wealth of knowledge. So, to conclude, what's the take home message from this guide? Well, you must learn to think and learn independently at university. Many of you will have learned that skill from MPW, but not everyone. No one will tell you what you need to do at every stage and how exactly to do it. So you need to be prepared engage with the material in the lectures and be active too. Write things down, ask questions afterwards, keep detailed and organised notes and stay on top of work for your tutorials. As always, if you want to come to talk to me about anything I've said here, come and find me in the Queensgate building. I think that's it. Thanks for listening.